it seems like whether it's through luck or, or providence at you know, age 13, right? You walk into a magic shop and there, there's this woman named Ruth who obviously made a very profound impact in your life. If you kind of speak to what, what led you to that magic shop and then ultimately what, what the start of that relationship was with Ruth. Sure. Um, so what would happen frequently uh, is when conflict would occur in my house, uh, I had a orange Stingray bike and I would get on it. I lived in the high desert. I would get on it and ride as fast and uh, further as far as I could go away from that. And uh, on one of those uh, t at, uh, times, at one of those times, I um, ended up in a place I actually had not really been in town and uh, was at a strip mall. And in that strip mall was a magic shop. And I had an interest in magic at that time. And in fact, I had a broken trick that I wanted to uh, uh, replace. And I walked in and there was a woman at the counter and she was sitting on a stool. Her arms were resting on the glass counter. She actually uh, was an older woman, um, and she had these glasses sitting on the tip of her nose with the chain and wavy gray hair and wearing a blue moo moo. And, uh, you know, she looked up from her paperback and she smiled at me. And I'm sure you've met people who their very presence or essence, when they look at you and smile, it's very open, it's very inviting you feel embraced by this wonderful presence of this person. And she was that type of a person. And I asked her about uh, this particular trick. And she said, I am uh, the owner's mother. I know nothing about magic. I'm just minding the store while he's on an errand. But we began conversing. And uh, what she did was actually create what we now know as an environment of psychological safety. Because from my background, with my experiences, uh, oftentimes people take you for granted. They're very judgmental. Uh, they don't embrace you in any way. And uh, she was just the opposite of that. And this led to actually a conversation that went fairly deep. And look, if you're in challenging circumstances, you know, especially as a child, you really don't want to announce that to other people because you're ashamed uh, and you're uh, in fear of being judged. But I didn't feel that way with her. So uh, I answered her questions. And uh, at the end of about 20 or 30 minutes, she said, you know, I really like you. Uh, I'm here for six weeks. And if you show up every day, uh, I think I could really teach you something that would really help you. Now, of course, as a 13-year-old, uh, 12 or 13-year-old, I had no um, insight, self-awareness at all. But what I did know was three things. One is she was very nice. Two is she was giving me chocolate chip cookies. And three is, frankly, I had absolutely nothing else to do. So I did show up. 